symbolic symbols then cybrassics okay we do not cybrassics so we will discuss different forms of the cyber attacks so first of all what is the meaning of privacy when i say it is the protection of the personal of personal information given online so if you have given any online uh, information regarding your uh, personal data like uh, your date of birth or uh, your email id or, or your uh, bank details and the privacy privacy mm -hmm. word protect your personal information it means nobody has the right to access your information if you or she is doing it means it is a cyber crime clear this is called the privacy next term is cross So in a normally uh, we say that fraud is a um, misleading information and doing something wrong. It can maybe in a money form or uh, something else. But uh, whenever we discuss about online fraud, it means fraud in case of e-commerce. Sometimes uh, uh, you buy something and uh, you are not uh, getting the delivery of the goods. Second one is. possibility that you buy something you uh, made the payment and uh, the company is not in existence means fake company is there you can like uh, there may be uh, some sometime the company is giving your information you are filling the data and that data is used this used by the company for use, using it for different purposes you can may sell that uh, for, uh, information to third person and next is uh fraud in payments okay so broadly we can say the fraud online fraud non delivery of non delivered goods this is the first type means maybe payment or not there but uh the non delivery of goods second one is non existent companies it means uh, the companies are fake companies they created the url you open the website you uh, you are uh, making transaction uh, transactions but the company is not real that is fake third one stealing information Fourth one, so ultimately, uh, the this uh, the intention of uh, uh, fraud is to make the uh, fraud in the payments. Okay, you make the payment, and the later on there is no any delivery of goods. Ultimately, this type of uh, fraud is linked with. About the ticket, so not delivery goods, getting the payment, but not delivery goods, uh, making the payment, but the company is fake ticket. You are making the payment, but uh, the company is giving information: your credit card number, your debit card number. Fake is a different thing. Let us see. Ah, save the eighty metric. First of all, see the. 
logs uh, w, uh, the name of the protocol that should be HTTPS. Second one is log sync that should be there. Third type, a third. Don't open unknown websites. If you are not aware about the web, particular website, don't make payments here. Don't make any transactions here. Yes, yeah? by using this, uh, these precautions, you can save. Otherwise, uh, uh, if uh, there is any company, uh, online company, see the URL. Okay? Uh, for example, in the case of online banking, uh, uh, the URL of uh, SBA is online SBA. Dot com and uh, suppose you open the one uh, website where address is SBI online okay dot com or online okay then ISBI sometimes names are very similar that uh, that create confusion the web, which web website is general. So you should be very particular about the URL. Liquidum. Whenever uh, these companies are having the HTTPS protocol, they have the digital certificate. And uh, for digital certificate, the, uh, the uh, authorities that is issuing the digital certificate inquire about the company its head office and their past its past record and i'm never giving the uh, digital certificate to every website okay, okay? before giving the uh, certificate there is an inquiry that's why there's no any chance that uh, the company is in the digital certificate is a fake website misuse with the people a company fraud on any company Okay, otherwise, uh, indirectly, Facebook is sending your product, uh, your information to third person. Okay, so go to Sari companies, uh, uh, the same thing. What's up, it's not at a Saraka Saraka, Facebook, uh, book is using and sending it to third person on making the landing. So, uh, the information or pic photographs saved in your uh, your social media accounts is not safe. So don't uh, to put everything in your uh, social media. Yes, even your WhatsApp is not safe. Reason is your file with uh, your pictures, your personal information is saved in the server of the market. And uh, anytime they can use it. Who are the first misuses? You know, the personal transaction data transfer to the data can't be put a server. Okay, but it's an end to end encrypted server. Michelagia. Now, this WhatsApp company is selling that uh, information. Then, encryption is whenever. You are sending the data from client to server or server to client. Data is encrypted. It means you can hack. What happened in the server? Is it clear? Next is so uh, how you to ensure. Safe websites. Okay, the website safe. Uh, safe. So one is HTTPS protocol. Second one is digital certificate. So the two things should be uh, in the website. One is HTTPS protocol. Second one is digital certificate. There is a log symbol in uh, your uh, URL, uh, your address bar. 
Okay, click there. This is a bit closer. Next is, okay, we don't, uh, if uh, any person copy your image, your picture, and paste in the social media and presenting that uh, this account is of my account, okay? It means uh, if, uh, the data is your data, but I'm representing this in my data. This is called, which term it is called? Yes. This is called fact. Okay. So using the, the information of another person and presenting that this is your information. This is called a infinity fact. Clear okay? So yeah, information credit card give you speed, debit card give you speed. If you are making any payment. Is your other card after a payment? And you see it. Okay, clear. Next is uh, there are some more security features in the internet. One is SSL. This is called secure socket layer. So in form of SSL is Secure socket layer. So secure socket layer means uh, then whenever your transaction is there between client and server, your data will be encrypted. Here, yeah? so whenever data travel from client to server, and whenever it is saved in this server, it is in the protect corner. Okay, this is what SSL secure. Uh, is your data transmission here? Yeah. Next is when your data travel from one side to another side, there is data encryption. So, what is in data encryption? Converted your data, plain data, to cipher text. Cipher text means encrypted form non-readable format it means if you want you try to read that you can't understand what is the what is the meaning of that data because data is encrypted form for example uh, i'm saying key, uh, in place of a i will write uh, y in place of b i write uh, x in place of i i will write uh, e Okay, uh, then uh, in place of P, I will write uh, M. Okay, so if I have a T word, I will write Y, X, P, M. Then again, uh, T. Okay, so this is a T word, but uh, this is in a encrypted format. So nobody can understand what is needed. So for the, for this, there is uh, encryption keys. So जिसको भी ये पता होगा कि A को क्या by uh, A को क्या represent कर रहा है, B को क्या on कर रहा है, I को क्या on कर रहा है, T को बंद कर रहा है, तभी आप ये इसको decrypt करोगे. The uh, company that is providing you the internet facility is deciding which type of work. Uh, encryption key will be applicable. We are saying this key on the No, different. Yeah. I need to complete this case. Yeah. 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 It may be different in order to see the detection. Okay? Whenever your data travel, it's in the encrypted form. Okay? Next is this is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin 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 सर्वर में ऑटोमेटिकली सॉफ्टवेयर होगा वो ऑटोमेटिकली उसको डिक्रिप्ट कर देगा उसको उसके पास सॉफ्टवेयर ही नहीं होगा डिक्रिप्ट कर देगा तो कंपनीज चेंजिंग दिस कीज वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली तो नेक्स्ट इज अ थर्ड वन
use safe protocols. So there is we have already discussed that is the HTTPS protocol is safe. So we have there are three different uh, methods you can say security features that can save you from on the top. <coughs> now there are some more terms. These are called ethical issues. So in this, first we will discuss IPR, very famous uh, term, present time. Intellectual property right, the property that is not physical here. Okay, for example, uh, land is there. You can get the prop, uh, you can uh, receive the prop, uh, the registry of land. You can buy a car. There is a RC is there. Okay, but whenever you compose something, like compose any music, you make any painting, your ideas are orig original. You can on that there is a one uh, property right you can say that is called IPR. Okay, IPR is a right on the things that are not physically existing. Yeah, that are uh, you can't see that. For example, there is a movie. Uh, anybody can copy the movie uh, story, but in that case. The copyright is on idea. Is he picturization? This is called idea. Second one. Plagiarism. Another term. Present time. Patrick uh, was. Uh, any uh, teacher assign any project work we copy the data from the internet without thinking that what type of data we are copying so this is a plagiarism copying the idea of another person without acknowledgement is called a plagiarism okay next is Digital property right. So it is also called a DPR. So this is a different from IPR. IPR is a not in a digital format, but uh, in the case of uh, digital property right, you uh, write on your digital data. That data may be online, may be saved in your computer system. This is called digital property right. I am right. Here, yeah, please come clear with us. Next is so basically, DPR is applicable on software industry. Okay, pirated software is come under this. Now, next is there are some more terms. Okay, these are linked with open source. So, open source, so open source are the software. Which are which whose coding is available free of cost. The product may be paid because there will be maybe no nominal charges will be there, but it's coding source code. What is source code? So it's the commands for uh, making a uh, any program are called open source. For example, in Python.
FS F is called Free Software Foundation. OSS Open Source Softwares. These are full forms. WPC This is called World Wide Web Next is uh, if you know what is proprietary software, what of the is here software for which we would have to uh, buy in license, license based. <coughs> license means uh, you will have to make the payment like uh, MS Office or uh, Corridor or uh, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. These are paid softwares. Okay, so proprietary softwares are you pay the bills. But this is a paid software is from the internet. So we can do the same paid software. So we can say no, we will try to do this. Better because whenever you buy the license, because you purchase the license, in that license they are uh, they mention in how much how many devices you can use this. Whether these are in 10 machines, whether it is in 20 machines, it will be mentioned. Here, if it is on only for one machine, they will mention this is for one machine. Here, sir, to most of the driver is also. Look at the goal. Yeah, I'll tell you that to when the company you buy something, okay? So, company up to ਟਾਈਮ ਤੇ ਬੰਦੀ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਸੇ ਅ ਇਸ ਕਾਲਡ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੈ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਐਕਟੀਵੇਟ ਦੈ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਯੂਰ ਕੀ ਇਫ ਪਰ ਕੀ ਇੰਸਟਾਲ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟ ਦੀ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਟਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਇਨ ਜਨਰਲ ਦੇ ਵਿਦਰ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਬਟ Uh, there is a these company providing so thickness but there is also it express there, there is a patch software is a, it means a, a pair order two generators boss is there is the about the internet se download karte ho to yahan pe aapke paas two generator bhi download ho jata hai us pe sikh sakte ho so still uh, this uh, this in india uh, 90% in computers we are using by the software but in foreign countries the software cost is more as compared with the market cost okay in the foreign country there is no any packet uh, office will be there in case of uh, using the ms office they will use a uh, open source in order to reduce the computer cost so they, these are proprietary proprietary softwares next is shareware the software that is for a short period for example for one month okay So one month trial will be there. During that time, 
possibility is that uh, some switches are disabled, but after buying that product, you will get different switches. And after trial period, your software will be disabled. Next is copy lifted top list. Copy liquid software is our software that are free here. Okay, so as a product, so you can free me distribute this. Okay, you can pass it. You can see what you can do. Next is there are some uh, terms linked with the license. Okay, first is. GPL, General Public License. It means when you install the open source software, there is a one software, that, uh, one license type that is called a GPL, General Public License. Second one is L, GPL, less, lesser General Public License. Lesser the new public license. Then there is a uh, software uh, license, ESP license, MIT license, Apache license. So these are the different type of uh, license available for open source. So there is one more term that is FOI, freedom of information. It means you have a right to get the information. So it is a right to access information available on a public platform. It means if something is in the uh, internet, you have a right to assess that. You have a right to see that. Got Freedom of information. Digital divide. When the all the portion of the society having no equal assessing right on information on internet or technology. Jab sare ke sare society ke paas kisi bhi uh, digital technology to use the right now. Okay. Example is India. Digital unity. Then digital literacy. So these are the different terms. Okay, online students, time is over. Thanks for attending the meeting. All the best for your exams.